now in this Galleon investigation, you have four Goldman executives who have allegedly passed insider or you passed insider in, insider information on to Galleon. Sorry. So the the web is expanding here. And you know, this is also you know, we're not talking about low-level people here. Tell us about the latest. I know you've been writing about uh, some of these developments over the last several weeks. Tell us about the latest right, revelation. So the news here is, I mean, we learned last week there was this other Goldman person being investigated by the Central District of California, the, the U.S. attorneys there. It turns out it's Matt Kornberg, who works out of the San Francisco office. He's, you know, a vice president, the highest ranking um, person so far at Goldman to have allegedly passed insider information on. And the investigation is ongoing now. His attorney denies that he's done anything wrong. So I want to say that right up front. He hasn't been charged, hasn't with, been any charged with wrongdoing, anything. but he's what they're looking into is whether he passed information on to Paul Uke, who was a portfolio manager at Galleon back around 08, 09, when two trades in healthcare happened that they are sort of interested in, whether whether inside information was going on. Yeah, and those are uh, those are two fascinating deals because a you're talking about uh, developments at a period of time when the M&A market for all intents and purposes had dried up with the exception of some healthcare deals and so these might have been kind of the only games in town. Right? right, if you had inside information about these deals beforehand you could make a killing in the stock market. So the, the government's looking into two deals in this circumstance. Um, one is in 2000, 2008 where Fresenius SE acquired um, they, they acquired APP Pharmaceuticals, and Goldman and Kornberg actually were advising APP. So they want to know whether, you know, Kornberg passed information on to Uke in that deal. Then there's another deal in 2009 where Abbott acquired Advanced Medical Optics, and Goldman was actually advising Advanced Medical Advanced Medical Optics on that deal as well. Sorry. And we've got um, we've got data that suggests that in fact Galleon traded ahead of the announcement of these deals and and um, you know as is typical in M&A activities especially when a big deep pocket you know uh, acquirer buys a smaller startup entrepreneurial company you got a real spike in the stock price yeah the formula is very simple it sort of goes back to you know the 1980s right with with Ivan Bosky you buy the stock in the acquire in the target in the acquisition target and you make a killing so Galleon I mean what we've heard is that it's anywhere from 10 to 20 million dollars in trading on these deals so it's big money when you really know allegedly in advance of these deals. And what does this do for the trial of the um, of the Galleon insider Gupta? Uh, I presume that his, you know, or, or uh, the Goldman uh, insider Gupta, who's currently on trial, I presume his lawyers are going to say, look, there were a lot of people at Goldman with loose lips. That's exactly what they're going to say. In fact, they have said that. The, you know, the, the defense attorney for Gupta has actually said in court, you got the wrong guy here. There are other Goldman people who were passing on in, inside information to, you know, to Raj Raj Ratnam. So it does create a, a, some doubt, and that's sort of the name of the game in, in, a, in a criminal trial, right? You want to create doubt in the minds of jurors. So, you know, there's three other people other than Gupta at Goldman who were passing inside information. Yeah, it only takes one juror with a reasonable doubt to try and unwind some effort. What, what's Goldman's response to all this been? I mean, Goldman actually issued a statement yesterday they said look we've known about this investigation to Kornberg for you know, two years nothing's come of it he's still employed with Goldman in good standing so you know the implication there is that you know there, there may be no wrongdoing here and and again we said at the outset that there haven't been any charges filed yet